Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how we are doing now that we are in our second semester of homeschool. Now, link below, I'm gonna put my homeschool playlist, so if you're seeing this for the first time, you may not really know where I'm coming from, so be sure to check out that playlist when we're done. Or just go right now and you'll eventually get to this video. <laughs> But our oldest, Caleb, is six years old, and we decided to wait a year to do kindergarten So, it, because his birthday is right on the cutoff. He's a late July birthday, and so we decided to wait a year. And you guys, it has been the best decision. You know, you make all these decisions for your kids, and you never... Well, I don't say you never, but sometimes you, you just really hope you made the right decision. And this one was definitely 100% right. So we're very thankful that God put that in our heads just to wait a year. So we are doing the full Abeka video program unaccredited. Um, and it's, it's going really, really well. We do struggle a little bit with routine, especially after being off for Christmas. For, it was only... Oh, two weeks I think we took off for Christmas or not even that long and so it, even after we took I think three days off for Thanksgiving that first Monday after Thanksgiving was tough we didn't take really a fall break um, I like to kind of keep days open for um, and, and not set aside time for fall break necessarily we didn't have a vacation or anything to do but I like to set aside time uh, kind of some flex time in case somebody is sick like the day we were gonna start back at school this semester, Caleb was throwing up the whole night before and I was not gonna make him do school when he had been throwing up all night. <laughs> that just, we weren't gonna do that. Or like if I get sick or something and we just can't hang or if we decide we wanna do a field trip or something, we wanna have those, those flex days. And we just did lesson 101 out of 170 one or 170 lessons total i can't remember but it's going well he is getting it with the reading and like the phonics he is struggling a little bit but he's working on it and just a little background caleb is um he's a lot like me in a lot of ways one of the things is he is capable of more than he thinks he is. He is smart, but he just doesn't apply himself like he should. He thinks, oh, you know, I'll get it later. I'll get it later. And then when mom says, no, we're gonna do this now, you know, we do bump heads. But he is getting the phonics especially. A lot of times he just, with like a worksheet or something, he just wants to be done. So he just kind of flies through it. Now, on his, when we do like the graded tests, he usually gets within the A range. So I'm really pleased with that. And I grade according to how Abeka tells you that you grade, like how many points you take off for missed answers and that type of thing. He's getting the numbers really well. He's kind of, he's, he's doing well at everything. I would say he's, you know, probably pretty average in, in uh, you know, what I would expect from a six year old little boy. And probably my, my only complaint, I don't really even know if it's a complaint, but once you get to, I think less than 69 or 70, I can't remember exactly, it's somewhere in the sixties or seventies, they start doing seat work and Seat work, um, I'm pretty sure Caleb thinks it's going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> and what seat work is, instead of listening to uh, the teacher yammer on, <laughs> they actually sit down and apply what they have learned. And it's usually about three or sometimes, well, it's probably more like three worksheets. And it's usually one, either phonics or numbers and there's always a handwriting one. Because she doesn't do a lot of the teaching of handwriting, they're kind of in the place in the year where they're doing more practicing and making sure that they know how to make all the letters. That's not the issue. It's just practicing to make them look good. And if you're unfamiliar with Abeka K5, they actually teach cursive in kindergarten, which I was not too sure about, but Caleb's always been real good with, with drawing and he's, even when he was, four, he had just turned four years old and he was in pre-K, his teacher even said he was one of the first kids who was able to write his name in the class because he'd had so much experience, you know, drawing and he draws 
all day, every day, Star Wars scenes, actually. It's really cute. <laughs> but I thought, well, since he's been good at that, maybe he'll do well at this, and he has. So very proud of him there. Uh, but there are times when I, I've actually, some of the handwriting, like where they just practice over it, like the repetition, that's killing him. And the last thing I want to do is kill his love of learning. And so one of, there's usually two handwriting worksheets and I've actually just omitted one of them. We don't even do it. He does really well at the front and back handwriting sheet that I already give him, and he does fine with uh, with the phonics or numbers worksheet. The only issue, and we're working on this, is listening to directions and retaining those directions because he can't quite read the instructions on each little section of the worksheet. And it's supposed to be independent work, and I almost always have to help him. And he's, he's getting better at it, but still I have to sit there and I don't tell him the answers. I mean, I just have to read him the, the instructions because by the time she's finished explaining and he sits down with the worksheet, he forgets what she told them to do. So yeah, so we're working on that. But Mrs. Reese is absolutely fabulous. The program I feel like hits on everything that he needs to, to know now. We're actually almost through with social studies for the whole year and then they'll pick up with more science here in a couple of months. So we're really excited about that. At this rate, we are due to have our last day of school the first or possibly even the second week of May. So that's really good. And the plan right now is to go ahead and, you know, when we go to the homeschool conference, to go ahead and buy the first grade curriculum <clears throat> because things are going so well with him this year and figure, well, let's, let's just keep it going. We've got a kind of a routine down for the most part. And I mean, he'll have to work harder in first grade. There'll be a little bit more work, but you know, I, I, th I think he can do it. He's also a year older than, uh, you know, other kids in kindergarten. So it's fine. Now, Brayden, we are looking, and he's four, he'll be five in September, so he's kind of on the older side of his grade level, and we are looking around at preschools to put him in a preschool in the fall. He is still not potty trained. He's just so stubborn. He can do it. He has done it. He just, just doesn't want to. So we're working on that. Everything that worked with Caleb that was like magic, not working with Brayden. They are two completely different, like in every way. They're as different as, as me and Mike, or Mike and I. I mean, it's, ah, fun. But I, there, there have been times when I've really wanted to find a preschool for him this year because he's, he's disruptive. But not only that, Caleb is very easily distracted. So it's kind of, double trouble there. Um, but there, there have been times where I'm like, I just, I want someone else to teach him so I can focus on one. And I know there are people who homeschool many, many more than two at once. And, uh, you know, I tip my hat to all of them because I don't know how you do it. And um, yeah, but everybody's got, got their, their strengths and their weaknesses. That is definitely not a strength of mine. So that's really kind of our update. We're, uh, you know, more than halfway through the year and so, so excited that things are going so well. Uh, be sure to check back here. I hope to do some more homeschool videos in, uh, in coming in the spring. I've got a couple of collabs on the calendar with some other homeschool moms, so look out for that. And of course, I hope to maybe vlog a little bit when we go to the homeschool conference in April. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you are new here, click my face right over here so that you can subscribe and I'll put some homeschool videos over here so you can check those out, including my homeschool playlist. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.